Let's see if we can tidy this up a little bit. What do I get out the front here? What is this? Which I don't for. Come on. I can multiply numbers. I know it's late in the afternoon, but they're nice, neat numbers. What a 1050, thank you very much. This guy up in the numerator, you can't do very much with that at the moment, so I'll just leave him be. What about the denominator? 0 0.05. Okay, now that's just a number, that's a number, so I actually don't know what this is. What's 1050 divided by 0 0.05? Has anyone got it? 21,000? Exactly? Oh, huh, okay. I came up with great numbers, that's nice. Um, there you go. There's my expression for A of M. Is that okay? And again, um, the question might have said instead, prove that the expression for the amount in Mr. Wu's count at the end of N years is that. Might have done that, okay? Um, quick note before I move on. Now remember I said to you at this point over here, I could have come up with a different GP, <coughs> excuse me, by factoring out the 1000 times 1.05. Can you see why I didn't, why I didn't bother? Because in the formula, it does that anyway, right? So you will come up with exactly the same sum of a GP as I have, even if we have different GPs identified, okay? Um, why did I do this? What was the question again? Have a look and see how you use this tool that I've just fashioned for us to answer this. I, I want to get to $30,000, right? That's where I want to go. Okay, so therefore, I want this to equal $30,000. So I'm going to say, let's make this guy $30,000. Like so. Does that make sense? You track it? I've just done a straight substitution in there. And now I'm trying to solve. What am I trying to solve for? I'm just solving for n. Thankfully, because of all this work that I've done, it's the only, bless you, pro numeral left. So I'm just going to rearrange until I get to that point. Okay? Uh, let's see here. Let's tidy this up a little bit. Cancel, cancel. 30 on 21 is 10 on 7. Yeah? Equals this. How's that? Is my arithmetic okay? I want to get this guy and make him the subject, so I guess I will add one to both sides, which I think makes it this. How's that? What do I do with a thing like this? I'm going to have to use logs at this point, right, to get to that power. So I guess I would write n equals log base, which one's the base again? The base in this equation is the base from the previous one, do you remember that? So that's 1.05 down the bottom and it's 17 on 7 up the top. You have a calculator, you can use change of base law. I'm going to choose base E because I'm lazy and I like to write LN. And your calculator is going to hand you something out of this, right? Because I certainly don't know the answer. Has someone got a number? Can I have some decimal places? 18.186 dot 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 dot. Okay, so pause for a moment and put down your pen. Every time you get to one of these spots where you're like, oh, I got a number, it's finished, it's simplified, I got the calculator told me something, you have to ponder what does this mean for the actual question that I've been asked, okay? Why am I getting a decimal place? Because I'm expecting like a particular year, why am I getting a decimal place? Yeah, that's right, I've, I've gone for some fictional point in time where I hit exactly $30,000, but there is no such time. Remember we talked before, I'm using a continuous model to try and solve a discrete problem, so therefore, at what point, it says, determine how many years, after how many years will I get to the 30,000? Will I get it after the 18th year? Here's A of N, right? If you put 18 in here, you'll get a number out, right? But because it's going to be less than this, it's going to be less than 30,000, right? Just a little under, I'm guessing, okay? But I don't get a little there. I've got to wait a whole year before I get there, right? So therefore, my answer would be after 19 years. I'm trying to make a big deal out of this because this is not rounding. You're not rounding. Eight, since when did 18.18 round up to 19, okay? But you're interpreting the question and you're recognizing, oh, 
what do I do with this number to get the actual answer that I want? Um, just for kicks, can this side of the room, can you put in 18 into that formula? And can you guys do 19 for me? Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. Who's got 19? Michael? Uh, 32,065. 625? No, 0,65. Sorry, gotcha. I'm okay with that. So, are you happy? Um, like in calculus, this is one of the nice points where you can test whether you got this right because you can see. Nailed it. 19 years, does that seem like a short time or a long time to you? Does it work with my sense check from before? It's under 30 years, hooray, my money actually did something while it was there. Not hugely faster, but that's because um, $1,000 isn't that much per year and 5% isn't that much interest. So that's why I actually invest more than that annually 